African football is kicking off a fresh chapter in its history. For the first time in almost three decades, there's a new man in charge of the continent's game. Ahmed Ahmed's election win over the once seemingly immovable Issa Hayatu brings with it a list of promises, top of which is a new code of ethics for African football's governing body. We need to hear no more bad news from the CAF offices, no more corruption news, no more embezzlement charges and other things. You know, football must, must be led by uh, people with integrity. Hayatu is from the West African country of Cameroon, and the election saw him targeted by countries and regions of Africa that felt they were being ignored. The construction of a new national stadium in Addis Ababa is central to Ethiopia's footballing ambitions, a nation expecting Ahmed to shift his organization's geographical focus. Ethiopia is a cradle of the African game, one of just three countries to have taken part in the first Cup of Nations in 1957. It last hosted the tournament in 1976. Now, not only was that the last time Ethiopia staged the event, it was the last time any East African country held the continent's most important football competition. And the next three Cup of Nations will all be going to West Africa. Ethiopia's sporting leaders hope Ahmed's election will prove to be a game-changing moment. This is a new era for East Africans, for our country, even for our continent. We expect we have to get uh, the chance to promote our football in the continent. So uh, we need in all around support from ACAF. Ahmed has also pledged to increase funding for football development at all levels. He claims the governing body has preferred to keep its cash in the bank rather than give it to countries in need. Football is related to finance. To help a coach and support talented players, CAF's help is needed. We read about CAF's plans for football projects here, but we never see them materialise. Ahmed says he'll be meeting with all of Africa's football leaders to produce a united vision for the game's future. The continent's players are hoping their needs won't be forgotten. Andy Richardson, Al Jazeera, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.